I'm only bro, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost you anything, so thank you. Please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Inspiration. Now you can see it's dark here. She's walking down there and she's there's a light here. She's following her gut feeling on things and it's showing her the way forward. So it's about what you're inspired to do. Listen to your gut feeling here. Listen to your intuition. Because you're being told something here. You will receive a gift. Box. Oh, somebody's going to give you a gift. It could be a person here. It could be the universe. You're going to be gifted with something. Younger women. Feelings are a relationship with a younger woman. So it could be daughters. It could be family. Nieces. It could be a younger friend. A younger boss. A younger work colleague. Anybody. Uh, let's see. You will receive a gift. It might be your birthday and your daughter or family members might give you something, friends. Let's see. The King of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. Now, this is about your happiness. You're on the right path, I feel. I feel you're on the right path, Libra. It's about keeping going full. It's about listening to your heart chakra. You're going to be gifted for whatever it is you're putting your passions into here. Now, it could be you have a choice between two people. So it could be that you've got somebody who's you find very attractive and somebody who's more genuine. They're different types of people here, but they could come into your life. This is a genuine offer of love. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. It could be a genuine friendship. So it could be a good friend that's coming in that's younger than you. Uh, it could be a partner that's younger than you if you're male or female depending on your sex, your gender. I'm saying male or female because these are knights. These are not gender-specific readings. It's just because I'm saying he because they're knights. Could be female. Uh, this here is somebody who you find very attractive. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy, but they're maybe more fleeting. They're more fiery. They're maybe somebody who's not as committed. Um, they might be a more flirtatious. That's the word I'm thank you, spirit. Flirtatious type of energy. But if it's not that, it's about you being rewarded here for the passion, things you're following. You're following your heart and you're putting your heart into something you've been inspired to do and it's going to serve you well in the future. It's something you're going to have to, you're committing to long term here, but it's going to, you're going to reap the fruit. He's somebody who sits back and reaps the benefits of his hard work. So this is going to pay off. Whatever you've been inspired to do here, the universe is going to gift you with security uh, and you are actually going to benefit from all the hard work you put in further down the line. Now, Rome wasn't built in a day, so let's remember that. Yeah, you see just what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this can feel quite challenging. You might doubt yourself sometimes. It may find as if it can get a drag. But if you keep going, you're learning here and you are going to get to the end of this journey. Whatever you're inspired to do here, you're going to achieve it. You're going to be very successful and there's going to be public recognition as well for this. So these are all karmic lessons. It can feel sometimes that you might get a bit fed up doing it, but you're inspired to keep going and you're going to be rewarded. And there's going to be victory and success. You can see he's been through battle, <coughs> excuse me, but you're going to come out and talk and people are going to recognise you. Uh, there's going to be public recognition. So we'll just clarify this Knight of Wands. Whatever you're investing in, whether it be relationships or yourself, your own goals. The Nine of Pentacles, the Star card, yeah, and the Two of Cups. Now, this could be a relationship for some of you. You could meet your soulmate. You're appearing very attractive to somebody. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Now, whether you've got a choice or whether it's a person where there's a lot of chemistry between you and there's a romantic opportunity here, whatever you choose, because the two are choices for me, you're going to choose the right person because you're going to use your, 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 beg your pardon, you're going to listen to your gut feeling on this. And this person is going to be a very good match for you. But you're appearing very attractive. You're appearing very well balanced, confident. You're in a very good place, Libra. When people look at you, <clears throat> She's a young empress here. They can see that you are capable of, of, of creating a well-balanced life. And that's what's attracting them to you. And this is bringing new hope and rejuvenation into your life. Now, this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be you coming into your own. Things are paying off. You're passionate about what you're doing. You're continuing down the road regardless. You're believing in yourself here. And you're going to be very happy with the outcome. You and your higher self here. 
emotionally and spiritually you're going to be at one for yourself. And every time you feel challenged, there's something going to keep inspiring you and there's new hope keeps coming. You're healing from the challenges and keeping going. And that is the beauty of this. You're going to be rewarded for your determination to keep going and to keep investing in this. Recharge. Slow down. It's not selfish to take time out and look after yourself. You might want to take a break as well if you're putting a lot of effort into something here, most definitely. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.